Concern over the coronavirus continues to be the top story today here in Arkansas and will be for some time. The first presumptive case out of Pine Bluff today. Governor Asa Hutchinson holding a press conference earlier today. He joins us live here on KARK 4 News at 4 to talk about coronavirus here in the state. Thank you for joining us today, Governor. Good to be with you. We appreciate you. I know it's been a very busy day here in Arkansas learning what's happening. I want to begin by talking about what's happening right now. We're seeing store shelves completely wiped out with people stocking up water, toilet paper. What is your message to our Kansans as this is happening? Well, as the Surgeon General said, we do need to be prepared, and so that's understandable to buy things in case that you have to be in a self-quarantine. Uh, but that the likelihood of that is very small. Mm -hmm. uh, the risk is still low in uh, the country. Uh, but as you can see over the last 24 hours, while we've had no cases uh, to date, all of a sudden today we had our first presumptive case, and now we're starting to do the tracing of, of individuals that that patient might have had contact with, and all of a sudden we see that we have to test 70 more. And so you can see how this uh, explodes very quickly. Mm -hmm. And so we really need to, one, uh, make sure that we uh, pay attention, go about our normal activities, but to do so in a safe way. And then if you feel like you have any symptoms, call the physician, call your physician, call the hospital in advance and don't just show up. Mm -hmm. And that way they can take the proper precautions. And of course, if everyone thinks, well, I need to be tested, then they're gonna very quickly overwhelm our testing capability in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. So we have to be calm about this and, and recognize that, again, there's low risk across the state. We only have had one presumed confirmed case. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be testing more, but we need to take this a day at a time and be very careful about it. Absolutely. We talked earlier in the press conference. You said school will continue, work will continue. You do want some travel limits for some state employees. At what point do you discuss shutting down schools? When do we get to that if, if we were to get to that point? Well, it's very important that education continue, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, whenever, and you can't overreact. And so we want uh, our schools to consult with the Department of Health and the Department of Education. And, uh, you know, we will keep our schools open. Uh, if there is, uh, you know, an infection or a case that is close to a school or involves a school, then we'll make the right judgments in coordination uh, with the school district. They'll get good advice from the Department of Health, but we shouldn't just react and say, oh, there's a case uh, in uh, Pine Bluff mm -hmm. that's presumptive, so we're going to close a school in northern Arkansas. That's not rational. That's not needed. It would hurt our education. Mm -hmm. So we want to take this very carefully. And again, we go about our normal activities. I do encourage people as they look at their vacations in the spring or mm -hmm. spring break, is it necessary, uh, is what's the mode of transportation, uh, what's going to happen there, are we going to just visit one or two people or is it going to be a mass event? And so we need to reevaluate your travel plans as well and just take appropriate precautions because there's some places that uh, have more of an outbreak and uh, you might not want to go to. 2020 may be become the year of the staycation here in Arkansas when it comes to spring break. A lot of things to do here in the natural state and if you haven't discovered it, this may be the time. Um, I want to talk about the World Health Organization calling this a pandemic at this point. Um, but you know, you said earlier there's no risk to the general public. Kind of explain that. Well, whenever it's a pandemic, that just means that the outbreak covers many different mm -hmm. countries. And uh, it was something they probably was on the margins two, a week ago, mm -hmm. uh, but they realized it reached the point that they need to call it that pandemic. It doesn't change things for here in the United States. We uh, continue to have low risk mm -hmm. of uh, being uh, impacted by this virus, but we have to take it seriously and recognize that if we don't mitigate, if we don't take the right uh, health procedures, uh, if we don't uh, take the right precautions, then it can spread. And mm -hmm. so we want to mitigate it. We want to keep it from spreading. But uh, that's just reality what uh, the World Health Organization indicated today. And you see what happens in other countries. You see what's happening nationally in it. And uh, we have to uh, be careful in our contacts, mm -hmm. uh, be careful about where we're traveling to, and, uh, and then be calm about things and go about our normal activities other than that. 
the governor's office, the state of Arkansas prepared on top of this. And a lot of this really is prevention at this point. So we never get to the point where we're dealing with an outbreak here in Arkansas. Uh, that's exactly where we want to be. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, you know, our cabinet uh, work today. Uh, we've been working and developing preparation plans. State government's going to go on. Uh, we are being careful about our travel. I'm asking the same questions I ask everybody else mm -hmm. to ask. I'm asking those of myself and our team. And so we're just being smart about this. Mm -hmm. And uh, But I'm, tomorrow I've got a full schedule. Uh, yesterday I was in Ozark. Uh, but we're going to be uh, uh, smart about it. And we certainly have our plans in place uh, depending upon what the circumstances dictate. We certainly appreciate you making time for us here. I know it's been a very, very busy day. I would shake your hand. I would like to shake your hand. We're going to elbow <laughs> bump. This is this, <laughs> the elbow bump. Governor Asa Hutchinson, thank you so much. We appreciate you. you. Your time now, 4.52 on a Wednesday afternoon.